that was that in the 1800s or was that in the 1900s? Mm -hmm. I mean, did you did you see that actually happen? No, that was that was back before my time, a long time ago, when the, when the famine was there, 1847. So mom always said that the, they'd had a good Irish name, but they lost it and they didn't take the soup. So you think that there was something to that? Well, uh, from then on, they called them people the supers. And the supers, they, were, they, they, they stayed with the English ones there. And the colony, like you know, they didn't have a village by themselves. They didn't have much use. Uh, other Irish didn't have much use for the supers. I see. But geez, there was the, the people were they were dying of starvation. Yeah. So did some families have their name changed when they refused to take the soup? I, I couldn't tell you that. Oh, okay. Well, can we start with uh, uh, about your family? You know, your John. Now, who was your mother and father? Well, my father was. John Peter Harrington, and my mother was Kate Harrington. She was Christy Kate. She went by Catherine here in Butte. They called her Catherine. And when did they come to Butte? Then they came out to Mercer City, Utah. Is where they came out to. And Mercer City, Utah, was a gold camp down in Tooele County. They came out there before the turn of the century. In 1898, my, my mother was out there first because she had uh, uncles there. Uh, she had an uncle there and, 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 and three brothers. What was their family name? They, they were Harringtons, but he, he, he went by the old, he went by the old name. Which was He's what? Sullivan, but he was a hurricane. My grandmother was Kate Hurd. They never called her Kate Hurd. They, 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 on the continent. She raised the family that her, her husband died, you know, my grandfather. And so they, they named all the kids after that. The grandmother, they called her the Caters. The what? The Caters for, the, for Kate, you know. Oh, I so see. So they, they, that name followed them. And then your father's name was Harrington. Your grandfather's name was Harrington too. Yeah, there were Harringtons from both sides. Yeah. I see. Now, one was uh, my mother's people were in Esquiwatry and Trisk, and my father's people were in Eskenine and in Trisk. Now, was this your mother and father or your grandfather? That was my mother and father. Okay. My, my great grandmother in Eskenine and was Margaret Sheehan. Now these were towns in Ireland. They were just villages, you know. In what county? In, in, in County Cork. I see. So Southwest Cork. So your mother, your mother and your father came up to Butte from Mercury, Utah. They, my my father came up here first. The the price of gold was down, and they closed. The city of Mercury probably was closing down. They closed the mines there. So my father came up here to Butte and went to work at the Stewart Mine up here. And then the train, they were notified that the train had quit coming into Merker uh, on January the 1st, 1912. So my mother packed up and got us kids all ready, me and my four sisters, and took us on the train up to Salt Lake and we changed there and came up on the Oregon Short Line. That was 1912? That was in 1911. November the 11th, 1911, we got to Butte. What do you remember about that train ride? Well, I am just watching out and... I, 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 had, I had ridden the train before that with my brother. An older brother had died there, he was six years old. And my father and mother took me on the train up to, to Salt Lake for... The, there was no cemetery in Mercury. There, so that he was buried in Salt Lake City, uh, not far from the Capitol building. To the right-hand side, there are a couple of blocks. So you were born in Mercury? 
I was born in Merker. All my family was born in Merker. How many brothers and sisters did you have? There were six of us all together. Uh, Including the one that passed away? Yeah. Now, my younger sister, Becky, she died when about a year ago. One or two years ago, yeah. She was down in Kansas City, Missouri. What were the other brothers and sisters named? Uh, Teresa was down in Kansas City, and she, she was married twice. Her, her second husband was Joel McCann. And Teresa's up in Holyoke, Colorado now. She's, her daughter lives there, and Teresa's got her home there. And my, my oldest sister is out at, at Whitehall right now. She's with her daughter out there. That's uh, Catherine Second. And so that's four of you. Now, who are the other two? The one that passed away, what was his name? Uh, that was Jim who passed away. Jim and Becky died. And Sister Mary's right here in Butte. She's a, a sister of Charity Leavenworth. Leavenworth. What did Jim and the, his, what did Jim and your sister pass away from? What did they die from? Oh, they, uh, the doctor at that time said he had spinal meningitis. But I, re, I really think he had polio. They didn't know anything about polio in them days. Was there a doctor in Merker? Yeah, at all? there was doctors there. The doc that's what the doctor said there. Oh, I see. And so when you, you came up on the train, you were with your mother and with uh, uh, four, three brothers and three sisters? Three sisters. No, four sisters. Four sisters. Yeah. And so uh, how long did it take you to get up here on the train? It took us not too long from... We, we, we left Merker in the morning and, and, and we were up here about 8 o'clock in the evening, come up on the, the Oregon short line, you know, to a branch of the Southern Pacific. And where was the train station in Butte? Uh, it was at the NP Depot, the Northern Pacific Depot. And when we got in here, it was in November, it was cold, you know, and you know, my mother hired a hack. We didn't have no automobiles. Uh, and you had the Jarvis sitting out up in the top of the front, and he had lanterns on both sides, you know, there. Uh, <laughs> and when you come up Main Street, you were coming up with over cobblestones all the way up, you know. There was no such a thing as blacktop on the streets in them days. Uh, so you can see the alleys here are all red bricks for you, around town here. Was there a streetcar going off the street too? Do you remember There were streetcars going on uptown in the street. And going out there, went out to the flat to different places, to the, to the Columbia Gardens, and, uh, and out to Lake Evoca. That's the, the country club now. And the uh, streetcar went up to Walkerville, and the streetcar went up to Centerville. So in that first night when you came to town, where did you go in the, in the hack? Well, we had the address where my, my, my father was living. 729 North Main Street. It was right in the on the corner where you turn in to Cork Town there. And we got up there and the house was in darkness. And there was little kids playing on the street there and one of them come, comes over and he says, oh they had a, 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 a bit of a fight there last night, he says, and they closed the place up. But they got relatives right over here. So my mother said, will you take show us where the relatives are? So the little kid got in and, and, and took us, and we went over to, uh, to the relatives' place. That was Patty Goggin in Clearwood Terrace, and his, his wife was Julia Harrington. She was a, she, she, we're, our clan 
your clan was the owners, and our clan was copies. Both my father's and mother's people there were descended from, from copies. C A U P E Y S. So the clan, the, the Green clan, you called them what? What was their name? They were they were owners. U U H C U H O I N S. And then that translates to green. Well, they translated that to. to to green, and, and some of, some of them gen, then got their names changed, to, and, and then Irish Parish they got changed to, uh, to Harringtons, and and the Alice Parish the owners changed to to, to Sullivan's. But uh, there were some people here that still had the name Green. Connie Green was up in, in Walkerville in my time, and. And Minnie Green, did you ever hear of Minnie Green? No. She was on Copper Street across from the the Scott Building. That's the Scott Building now. And the uh, place was full of widows from the mines in them days. You know, the the, the miners that work four or five years in the mine and get the miners' consumption. So the the, board, so the, the boarding house was full of widows. Uh, or the town. The, the town was full of widows. And you could tell them that every all the women in them days they wore them great big hats, you know, and they had they put a black veil hanging down around on the hat, and they they wore the black veil for for a year after their, their husband died. So there'd be four or, or, or five hundred of them walking around town here with black veils on. What did they do to make a living? How did they live? They, they got a little bit off of the county here, but it wasn't very much. Did they get anything from the company? No, the company just hired somebody else when they died. They didn't give them nothing.